everybody. Welcome. The Superficial Gallery is going to talk about the Stan trailer. I'm Acadia, and I'm here with Mel's, the Stephen King aficionado. Hi. How goes it? Hi. I'm pretty good. Very excited about the stand. I can't wait for it. Yeah, I am pretty psyched about the whole thing. And uh, we got the tiniest eensy weensy bit of trailer it was only 30 seconds long and some of that was title card so we didn't get a lot of footage at all but we did get to see some of the main characters and see what they've done with some of the main characters so i figure we'll just go through one at a time the scenes that were in there and we'll see what we think of them make sense sounds good all right so the first one is uh odessa young as fran very a far cry from Molly Ringwald. This is her, yeah. Yeah, right? Uh, this is her dreaming of Mother Abigail. And then we're going to go to what I think generated the most conversation, I think, uh, about the trailer. And that was um, Whoopi Goldberg as Mother Abigail. And yes. the hair is great, but she is just not old looking enough. Doesn't look like she's a hundred, that's for sure. No, not at all. Like she doesn't have like those super wrinkles that hundred year old people have. Now Yeah. Is she a good actor? Yes. Am I worried about her in the role? No. But at first blush, she didn't look nearly as old as Mother Abigail is said to be in the book. Now, for all we know, they're gonna change it. You know, it because well be that. if they're changing it to current times, then you think back to when The Stand was written, her being that age meant she lived through a bunch of stuff that wouldn't have occurred if she had been born in 1920. So, you know what I mean? So it's, it's uh, maybe they just decided to go to the hell with it and we're going to make her old, but not like supernaturally old or anything like that. So, but right, over, right. overall thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. All right. So now the next one is the biggest change that I've seen to date from left to right. We have Greg Kinnear as Glenn Bateman who is much younger than Glenn Bateman was written in the book. Yeah. Um, Irene Bedard as Ray Brentner. So goodbye, Ralph, and hello, Ray. Uh, not only race-bent, but gender-bent. Uh, right. The Tom Brady look-alike James Marston as Stu. <laughs> he, really, <laughs> he looks like Tom Brady in that picture. I don't care what anybody says. does. And, uh, jo <laughs> and Joven Adepo as Larry Underwood. Now, this has to be them looking up the washout on their way yeah. back, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be anything else. And uh, yeah, that really doesn't look like Greg Kinnear. I was really, really fascinated. It really doesn't. Right? But then again, I mean, I don't know how old he is now, but he's a lot older than he was <laughs> when what? Yeah. Even Little Miss Sunshine. <laughs> when was Little Miss Sunshine? 2005? Was it that long ago? It might have been. It might have been. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. 2005. At now, the very I least. It was like 2010. It, it, it's still 10 years, so I guess 10 years makes a big deal. Also, they, they can make people look older. So, our next one, age. yes, is Gross Harold. <laughs> Fucking Harold. And uh, yeah. he's yelling, is anybody alive? And then the next one, and this has to be back in Maine, where he finds Fran if they go. Now, I had heard that they were going to skip the whole beginning part, though. Didn't you oh, hear really? that? Or maybe you heard it from me because I heard it from some unreliable source. Oh, I think I might have heard that from you, but yeah. why would they do that? Well, because we we already know how pandemics were. Oh, no, that's what it was. They weren't going to show the progression of the pandemic. You know that chapter in the book about how this person gives it to that person, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? 
because they don't need to because now we all know it because we lived it i mean not to the degree that the movie shows but you know what i mean yeah okay all right well i guess it makes sense then so then we have uh i looking through the fence which would definitely seem like it's harold the creep um yeah. I'm going to assume, although there's another there's another glimpse that we get of this that makes me think it's not, because if we go back, we see he just seems to be wearing a button-down shirt in this scene where he's next to a fence. I, I think they definitely want us to think that it's his eye. Um, oh, okay. Then we go to a personal fave of mine, Heather Graham as yeah. Rita... Remember Rita? Yeah. Yep. Well, they got a what I can still consider to be a big star to be Rita, which is a pretty small part. Yeah. Unless yeah. they expand it. Unless they spend a lot more time. Unless they tell the story of Larry getting out of New York a lot more in depth than they did in the 94 miniseries then they got a big actress to do a very, very, very small part. Which might be neat. Excited to see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm interested to see. I mean, you can see in this, they're, they're on a street in New York and all the cars are stopped, all with their New York license plates. So that's definitely what it's supposed to be. So I guess we'll find out. And then the next scene is Stu in the facility in Stovington. It has to be. It's got to be, right? Gotta be, yeah. Yeah. It's a little hard to tell. It's a little hard to tell what it's gonna be from the stills, but yeah, if I had to guess, I would guess that's what it is. Kind of looks a little Star Trek looking. It does. You know, <laughs> or Westworld. It does. Maybe it's, yeah. He's not Stu. He's Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> so then, I love it. The next one is one that I don't get. And I don't know who this is, and maybe you'll remember. It's Mother Abigail, and now this scene, this is in motion because that person was snapped back onto the bed really, really fast. And okay. that's Mother Abigail sitting next to the person in the bed. And yeah. I don't know who that's supposed to be. It could not, no, it, I can't I think of it from the book. Can you? No. Oh, and it's, again, I, it's hard to try to place what these scenes might be, but yeah. I can't think of anything with, if that would be her in a facility with someone. Yeah, no, I mean, did she interact with, no, you know what? When she interacted with Fran, Mother Abigail was in the bed, not... Remember when she grabbed her and, and was talking about the baby and everything like that? That was that was, um, that was was Mother Abigail in the bed, not Fran. Was this so, switch then? Yeah, I, I don't know who the hell. I, I think it's a dude, but I have no idea. And then the next, the next thing is Larry... And you can see over on the right, there's those IV racks, which implies that it's in the hospital, which implies that he's also in that room where that is happening, but it's kind of hard telling, not knowing. I, yeah. So, um, other than him being a particularly handsome fellow, there's not really a lot that's that's being given away in this one. Uh, right. <laughs> the next one is Harold smacking himself in the face. Okay, this one was a little dark, so it was hard for me to tell what it was. Yeah, I'm I'm very 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 sure it's Harold. Uh, Harold's gross, and uh, yes. it, that one was hard. This next one to me is impossible. I have no idea who this is, or what they're pushing, or why they're pushing it. No, no idea. Either. Yeah, that one's a mystery. And this next one is a mystery, I think, as well. Unless you yeah. clue into something. Check this out. Dude with an eye patch at a piano. Okay. All right. See, when you watch it, 
it's only 20 something seconds long. So a bunch of this stuff gets all mixed up into one. So I was, when I was freezing him, I was like, Jesus, what the, who the hell is that pirate guy? Makes no (laughs) sense to me. Yeah, I know. Right. And I don't recognize the actor. So that was no help. That was no help either. Um, The next one is definitely Greg Kinnear. Glenn. Yes. Blowing smoke rings. And then we get to the meat. Blowing smoke rings. Yeah. (gasps) Then we get to the meat. We get to the fun part. Yeah. Then we see flags learning to fly, as it were. Yeah. And then we see (laughs) Alexander Skarsgård in all his glory as flag. With his big scorpion belt yeah. buckle. He doesn't have any buttons on his jacket, but that's all right. It's okay. Uh, we'll we'll let it pass. Yeah, he's a uh, he's a good looking flag, I think. Yeah, I'm. Ex- this is what I'm most excited about. Not yeah. just because it's Alexander Skarsgård, but because I think that is like perfect casting. Yeah, in my opinion. I think he really, really did great. And then there's the little bit where he just says "boo," and yeah. uh, that was interesting. Uh yeah, he's he's a good flag. I like him. I and I haven't seen him in anything. I didn't see that Tarzan movie, so I haven't really seen him in anything since uh, True Blood. Yeah, me either, actually. Uh. Well, I saw him in a movie about. Oh no, he was in Big Little Lies. Oh yeah. I don't know if you watched that, but he was in that, and he was pretty good in that too. But bug eyed really brothers excited getting work for right this. and left. <laughs> Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> so then we see... Glad well, they're um, letting another scars guard in the Stephen King universe. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, and and in pivotal roles, too. I mean, Flag and yeah. Pennywise are not small things. So then we oh. have uh, what has to be... And, and I actually confirmed it. When I, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, well, shooting a gun like that in a store, it's got to be Julie Laurie, who was the like lovely and talented um oh my god her name she was in uh shawnee smith shawnee smith played her in the in the 94 miniseries and uh then you see her face on and that is indeed an actress named uh katherine mcnamara as julie laurie oh nice okay they're given kind of bit part like Big players yeah to and and putting them in the trailer like there's 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 no unless that guy pushing the car and i'll go back a couple unless that's nick mm. i mean to me nick is a heck of a lot bigger of a character than julie friggin laurie you know yeah. And I guess technically, yeah. I guess technically that's Nick jumping over there, like trying to avoid getting shot. <laughs> Tom Cullen, yeah. But still, um, then the next one, and we're we're getting towards the end now. Um, this is the person peeping through the hole, getting caught, and I thought it was interesting mm-hmm. because you can see at least three layers on this person. And Harold was only wearing a shirt when he was walking down the street. So maybe it's not Harold. Or maybe Harold went back to the fence because he found out there was a hole in it and peeped on Fran. Which is also very, very likely. Because Harold's gross. Yeah. Now He's grody. Yeah. <laughs> very. Now, um, this next one is out of nowhere. And I think that this is... Fiona Dorif as Rat Woman, I think. I do not know for oh. sure. It just makes no other sense for me for it not to be that. You know what I mean? I. Uh, uh, and then the next like scene it. is it's it's that pulled back a little bit, and there's a cage there, and and who knows what they're gonna do with all of this. Um, but that. The fact that they gender bent the character, and it's a super minor character. I mean, the Ratman is not anything big. I mean, we don't see they held back trash cam. Right. Like, if we think about the stuff they held back, which we can talk about afterwards, um, it's pretty significant. Then we get Teddy in the corn, or Stu rather, Stu having his dream. Teddy in the corn. <laughs> and then we end up with what's definitely the most killer shot of the of the trailer. 
Mother Abigail with the wolf in front of her, uh, which I yes. think is just amazing. Uh, Me too. I've got goosebumps. Yeah, that's that's a really really great shot, and uh, that is all they give us. So ah, just enough to and wet the palate, I guess. Yeah. Right? Now it comes out in December, which means that you would think that by October we'll have a legit trailer. I would think. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people yeah. that haven't been well number one this doesn't tell you literally anything of what the show is about so somebody that hasn't read the book or didn't read the watch the original or anything like that is going to have no earthly idea what this is about I, based on this I, um which is why i think they they highlighted Skarsgård and whoopi goldberg you know they're the only people that got you know the, james marsden got two but one was kind of far away uh, they're trying to. This is the star power they're bringing to the thing, right? You know? Right. Uh, they did not show Amber Heard as Nadine. Mm. Uh, I wonder now. I got to tell you, Amber Heard has her problems, obviously. But I've been. I was thinking about what Amber Heard looked at, looked like in Aquaman with that red, 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 red hair. Now, just imagine her as Nadine with that red, 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 red hair being gray. But basically the same Ow. hair. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's that's something to think of. Well, I guess it turned white, not gray. Like, pure white. So, either way, it's going to be fucking trippy. Uh, I'm excited Ow. that... Uh, Greg Kinnear is in it. Uh, I like the uh, I like the 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 tweaks that they've done to things. You know, I don't think I don't think in in 2020 anybody's gonna get that you know bent that that anybody is is race changed or or gender changed or anything like that because really it it, it makes literally no difference. You know, unless they're gonna unless they're gonna change the story significantly to make it make a difference. Uh, I don't see it making much of a difference whatsoever. Um, and Me either. I mean, it, it's hard to say something looks great based on seeing 20 something seconds of it, but I'm not, right. I'm not mad that they gave it to us. That's for sure. You know? Yeah. And I mean, based on what we got, it looks like it's going to be amazing to me. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. I am, uh, I am quite thrilled with the whole thing. Now, this is on Twitch right now, so hi to the one person that's watching us on Twitch. Um, we're going to put this up on YouTube um, because it wasn't like we announced that we were doing this on Twitch ahead of time. So we're going to put it up on YouTube, and I might end up cutting this part out. Who knows? But uh, overall, I think that I'm glad we cut it bit by bit because we never would have figured out that eye patch was even in there. It would have just been glossed over had we watched it a bunch of times. Um, and, uh, right. I am glad that I got to do this with you because when I say stuff like Nadine's having white hair, you know what I mean. And there's not a, I mean, there's, yes. there's fans, but there's not that kind of fan. And that's why I want to make sure that when, when we're doing this kind of stuff that you're here, Mel's, because you know more about Stephen King than Stephen King does. Well, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about this and I'm glad you invited me to take a look at this trailer with you. Yes, well, uh, without you, there isn't any trailer reactions. And maybe next time we'll figure out how to do the actual trailer reaction so that we can both watch it and, and react at the same time. Uh, Who knows how technologically awesome. advanced we can get. So we will give that a try next time. But for now, I guess uh, we will see you... Well, you can find us at strangefulthings.com. You can find Mel's at Damn Fine TV, the podcast. You can find me at Castle Rock Historical Society. And you can always go to superficialgallery.com where we got a bunch of shit going on, usually. That about cover it? Yeah. All right, then. That covers it, Chief. All right. Everybody, thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.